Union Test Prep's Food Handler Practice Test for the ServeSafe Exam, Part 3. Question 1. Which of the following is not one of the Big 8 food allergens? A. Wheat B. Soy C. Chicken D. Eggs Chicken is not considered one of the Big 8, so the correct answer is C. The Big 8 allergens include milk, soy, tree nuts, crustacean shellfish, peanuts, wheat, fish, and eggs. Question 2. A restaurant makes homemade potato salad. Assuming it is stored at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, or lower, how long is it good for? A. 14 days. B. 3 days. C. 7 days. D. 10 days. The correct answer is C. 7 days. Ready to eat TCS foods prepared on site, such as potato salad, are good for 7 days as long as they are stored at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, or lower. Question 3. A chef accidentally sprays cleaning product in the chili she is making. What type of contamination would this be considered? A. Chemical B. Biological C. Physical D. Aerosol The correct answer is A. Chemical. When they come in contact with food, cleaners, sanitizers, and polishes are all considered chemical contaminants. Question 4. Which of the following is not true regarding the hand washing process? A. You should scrub your hands for at least 10 to 15 seconds. B. The water should be as hot as you can comfortably handle. C. You may dry your hands using paper towel, hand dryer, or clean apron. D. You should wash your hands after sneezing into a tissue. The correct answer is C. While it is appropriate to dry your hands using a single-use paper towel or hand dryer, it is never appropriate to use an apron, even if it appears clean. The other options are all true regarding hand washing. Question 5. Some food types are more susceptible to bacterial growth than others. Which of the following is least likely to become unsafe if not stored properly? A. Tofu B. Sliced tomatoes C. Baked potatoes D. Raw honey The correct answer is D. Raw honey. While nearly any food can make you sick if stored improperly, raw honey is the most shelf-stable of the options listed. Tofu, sliced tomatoes, and baked potatoes are all considered TCS foods that will quickly exhibit bacterial growth if not stored in the correct conditions. Question 6. Where should you check the temperature of a steak? A. On the top B. At the thinnest point C. At the thickest point D. At least one inch in The correct answer is C. To most accurately determine the temperature of food, the thermometer should always be inserted at the thickest point, which is also typically the center. Question 7. Which of the following is the high end of the temperature danger zone? A. 120 degrees Fahrenheit B. 135 degrees Fahrenheit C. 165 degrees Fahrenheit D. 150 degrees Fahrenheit The correct answer is B. 135 degrees Fahrenheit The temperature danger zone is the temperature range in which pathogens grow well, and it ranges from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Question 8. Which of the following is an example of the wrong way to handle glassware? A. Carry it by the stem. B. Stack the glasses. C. Carry the glasses in a tray. Or D. 
carry the glasses in a rack? The correct answer is B. Carrying glasses by the stem, middle, or bottom is appropriate, as is transporting them in a rack or tray. It is never appropriate to stack glassware. Question nine. The house salad at your restaurant comes with pine nuts and a guest has an allergy and orders it without them. Which of the following would be appropriate? A, verify with the manager that nothing else in the guest's order contains pine nuts. B, tell the kitchen staff preparing the salad about the allergy. C, hand deliver the pine nut free salad to the guest to prevent potential cross contact with other food. D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. All of the options are appropriate measures to take if a guest has a food allergy. Question 10, what is the last step to sanitizing a surface? A, allow it to air dry. B, wipe it down with a clean towel. C, sanitize the surface. D, rinse the surface. The correct answer is A, allow the surface to air dry. When sanitizing a surface, you should remove or scrape food from the surface, wash it, rinse it, sanitize it, and allow it to air dry. The surface should not be wiped down, even with a clean towel. For free practice tests, study guides, and flashcards for the SurfSafe exams, check out uniontestprep.com forward slash exams.